All right, let's go. He's doing Serapis. Let's go with Endrago Larva. Hey Adam, long time. How have you been? Uh, what are you up to these days? Hello. Oh my god. How do you even begin to describe it? I'm mostly just learning stuff. Spending time uh, reading books, a bit some programming, that's about it. Very boring sh stuff. <laughs> I missed two expansions, I think, but some things never change. Hmm. Monster used to be amazing. I'm kind of hoping for uh, a buff. Covid like. Oh, he's actually running Wild Hunt. I'm I'm curious if it works out for him. I'm not even the the best deck. Am I still in Mahakam? I would never leave Mahakam. Maybe I would. I thought about moving away from Mohakam a little bit. <laughs> I thought about maybe moving to a place where it's actually sunny and doesn't rain all the time. I've started playing Deep Rock Galactic, so all I can say to fellow dwarfs is Rock and Stone, brother. Deep Rock, Gal uh, Deep Rock Galactic is a pretty good game. I played it a few times I have it and uh, I was I was very impressed I was very very impressed I, I think pl playing that with actual people uh, that I well not just randoms necessarily would be awesome but even the randoms were pretty awesome the randoms I uh, managed to get with I don't think the when it comes to PV games uh, PV games tend to be more friendly more cooperative People are like that. That's my experience. Very rarely you see uh, bad mannered people in uh, PV games. Uh, that's just my experience. Compared to PvP games, I, you play a one round of Counter Strike, you lose all faith in humanity. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, okay. The PV games tend to be nice. If anything, I felt bad in Deep Rock Galactic. I was the one who was like, oh shit, you guys are taking this seriously. You guys are helping me out. I'm like, ah, oh, well, I'm gonna just do things for fun. I played exclusively with friends and over voice. So I have the best experience. Yeah. Sounds like it. I played with randos and it was still a pretty good experience. They cared about me and helped me out. Oh boy. Blitch class, though. <laughs> you think I remember that? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I think I played, tried to, tried all of them. Maybe we can do that too. Uh, I, I don't know if he would have enough uh, people <laughs> in the channel <laughs> to actually go for a deep rock galactic team. But. 
I suppose I could be open to it. I might want to use K-Run here. In the past, I uh, played with you guys more. Uh, but I, I suppose I wasn't really playing games that uh, can be multiplayer. Uh, can be played in multiplayer. Machine gun, turrets, uh, platforms, or speedy hook. I, I was a hooker, of course. Or two drills on hand. No, 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 I was a hooker. I, 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 I hooked to random places. People used my hooks and came back disappointed. Fellow scout, best class. It was an excellent way to disappoint people. I didn't even have to uh, speak. But I did. You sound like a gunner? Was I? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I barely know the game, so... What made me sound like a gunner? I'm curious. Scott uses hooks on himself. Gunner throws out two point hooks everyone can use. Oh, yeah, I think I was a gunner. Since you said you disappoint people with placements, means you place them, so gunner. Yeah, Ex exactly. I think I was a gunner. But I, I think I may have played a hooker too. Again, keep in mind that played like three games. Mr. Content and Dex, I thought you found a full time job and moved on from Twitch. Do I look that responsible? I actually really enjoy streaming, just I'm not always into the games, so... I don't know. The, streaming is not something I wanted to drop, well, at least permanently ever. Oh. Oh crap. I think I may have made a mistake. It's fast. I love you too. <laughs> Getting a little uncomfortable here. So though, what other games are worth looking into these days? Or I'm not exactly sure how, you, how to call you, Rukov, Rivia. Should I call you Rivia? I, I, I can... I can say that. Archie of Rivia? Oh no, Nitra is gonna hit me. Just call him Archeo. Uh, I'm actually not sure what Arche stands for. Can you tell me? Oh crap! Dominance is gonna deal two damage. The 
It's a wrestling meme? Send me the meme. I need to be in the loop. I think we're gonna lose again. I don't know how to win. It's so damn hard. People also used to spam on the board more. Grave error. Grave error. Washington Post? Do I look like a subscriber to the Washington Post? It's like, support great journalism. We rely on readers just like you to uphold the free press. If, I, if this wasn't... Uh, yeah, actually, I have this site banned on my Firefox browser. I want this to never show up. Automatic redirection. Like, what is this? No. Okay. Screw that. I used to be RMK uh, previously, but lost the password for the account. We used to talk about software, etc. When you use, use the stream regularly. Hmm. U block plus add block, though. Well, I never heard of those softwares. Actually, uh, the browser I have, the the chat open, uh, has minimal amount of uh, add-ons. It's Google Chrome with minimal amount of add-ons, intentionally. Intentionally, uh, I'm so clueless. I wanted to see the internet as uh, as others see it. For maybe web development purposes. <laughs> but yeah. My Firefox has like 20 add-ons. Adam, I implore you, use uBlock plus AdBlock. Because let me tell you, normal people use them. Yeah, I use them too uh, on uh, on my Firefox. Why is it not on? Even even Google Chrome has used to supposed to have uh, uBlock at least. Or use Brave. Chrome did some funky thing with the uh, blocking ad blockers. That's why I don't like I, I don't like to use Google Chrome as my primary because Firefox never screws me over, but Chrome always tries to be sneaky. Like, oh, look at that! You see some ads on here. Uh, uh, you see some ads here. It's like, uh oh, why is that showing up? Man. <laughs> that guy getting pissed off due to roping? I'm not roping, I'm thinking. Not about the game though, but... <laughs> He's Brick TV. He's a streamer himself, it looks like. So he can shut the fuck up. <laughs> People who really hate me 
when I when I do when I play like this and and make a video about it and people are like, "Oh my god, just make the move." Well, it's a process, okay? I think Gerald Jordan will be worth it. Okay. Bring it on. Too many engines now. Always good to push round two. Uh, not, not with this deck. Oh, Purify. And this is it! This was a good fight! We both had shit decks. And we had fun. That was a good fight. How about that? Now I'm gonna showcase this video on YouTube. And like, oh my god, 90, 99% win rate deck. GG. Okay. Safe net, an outcast. I'm not sure how I feel about all the cosmetics in the games, because you know, at one point, I don't really care too much about it. But at the same same time, also the games try to get you to care a lot, like I don't know, like game Grant has the, these. Uh, I don't know, keys that you can use with pictures, plus so many cosmetics. I mean, I suppose a lot of people are into it, and but that's fine. I, I just don't really want to care too much about it. It's not really a criticism about Grant, just kind of like how the the games are, are like these days. They just add so much, I wouldn't even say complexity, just, just something that doesn't add gameplay value. Necessarily. And, uh... It kind of forces you to care about it. A little bit. Recently I was playing Runeterra a little bit. And, uh... And they added these... Fancy quests. Almost like a... What is that? A battle pass system. Like, with a bunch of crazy quests. I'm like, oh, I, I don't, I don't care. Cosmetics, uh, bloat is a thing. Yeah. I remember the time I was actually playing, uh, Team Fortress 2. And, uh, they added, they started adding the hats. And we were just getting more and more and more and more ridiculous. It was somewhat affecting performance, that, but, but that wasn't the main concern. And I was playing TF2 with a mod that removed all cosmetics. And I was loving it. You know, TF2 looked like TF2. Not like, I can't even tell apart who is who here. Because I see like one guy who has like five hats on. And see another guy who has four hats on. And it's completely, you can't even tell off the sniper from a, a pyro anymore. Well, that's not the best. Then you play a single player game and it almost feels weird not to have uh, tons of cosmetics. Not me though. I, I think it's very... What's the word for it? Very relaxing almost. You know? It just, it, it just, you're just not bombarded with so much crap. I mean, 
if I want to care about it, I care about it, but not like shoved into my face, care about this place for money. So, I mean, if I want to dress up my character like uh, like a pretty princess, then I can do it, but not like, please dress up, for, up as a pretty princess for money, okay? Do it, do it, come on, just do it. Like, oh, okay. Like recently I played uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. Uh, I actually just recorded the whole thing, but I'm not sure if I'm going to release that. I, I played a character uh, named Bitch with a backstory. And I was having a ton of fun, even though I think my microphone setup wasn't like uh, top tier, but it was still OK. I don't know if you guys can. I don't know how would you guys rate my voice right now, but I, 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 I don't know. I at least spent some time on it, so <laughs> I, I could sound somewhat pleasant. I rated 9 out of 10. If you would... Would you say I sound better? Or similar, like before? I think it sounds a little better. Previously I was using uh, a little bit of... Uh, compre uh, uh, suppression. And now I'm using uh, downward expansion. And uh, yeah, that's basically the main difference. And also I'm using a uh, lower uh, base... Uh, Windows volume. Previously, I used like 80, 85, which is like uh, 20 uh, dB boost, and I'm more in the 50% range, and uh, then just uh, change the volume a little bit. Also, have a well, a compressor limiter on it. I previously had a limiter, but I I came to realize that uh, OBS has a uh, well, pretty garbage built in uh, filters. So, I had to uh, get uh, an extra bomb. A Demon Flame is the expert on this. Uh, if anything, if, if he was here, I would uh, pick his mind. Yeah, better than before. Mm. It's the same mic, though. So. Also, I'm I also am limiting at uh, minus six, which is uh, maybe more pleasant. Uh, previously, I, I think it was limited at uh, minus one or minus zero. <laughs> I mean, just zero. So, it was louder. And I suppose I was getting uh, complaints about it occasionally. But, oh my god, you're too loud! Which is fair enough. But, ultimately, I uh, always had that experience that, you know, if you, if you have a choice between a little bit louder or quieter, then I always uh, wanted louder because... Uh, when you're like, <laughs> when you use like a crappy phone with like a, a, a crappy headset or not even a headset, just like, <laughs> just, I don't, know, I don't know, maybe with the full, full speaker, just trying to listen to a video and maybe even have some background noise. I'm like, oh my God, it's so bad. And, uh, well, good luck. <clears throat> also about the latest game aside from uh, Deep Rock Galactic uh, trying to finish uh, Monster Train I tried Synergia which was horrible <laughs> uh, and Carrion, good but devs hate the players I've very briefly seen uh, Co Carnage uh, play uh, Carrion. It looks somewhat interesting, but frankly, I'm not super into uh, 2D side scrollers. So I, I don't really hate them, but I'm just not super into them. Synergy is kind of okay. Uh, VN. Do I look like I speak code? Yeah, I need to look for the Urban Dictionary right now. Unless you were referring to Vietnam. Oh, visual novel, okay. Or Vietnam. It's still uh, undecided. Visual novel, but it got three choices for the whole novel and two endings. It put all... Okay. Let's just think about this. 
That looks kind of good. But we need to consume. We, we can consume. Will Gerald Jordan help us here? Okay, this is the guy we should be throwing away. It put all into the art style and atmosphere. I may be old fashioned, but I like my game with a game in it. I don't really hate uh, games that are necessarily like, for example, like Beyond Two Souls, I believe was a game that it wasn't much of a game, but it was more like a an experience of you know just you know kind of like an interactive story. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, it's sometimes described as a walking simulator. Okay. I don't think we need the Andrago Warrior. Now we kind of need the Andrago Warrior. Are you excited about Cyber Cyberpunk 2077? Yes. But also I played a game that I really, really loved. And you guys should try it out, I think. I, it just comes with my recommendation. Whatever that is, uh, worth. I'm just gonna make sure that I can... Maybe I'm just gonna link it. Why am I so bad with names? Oh, fuck, I found it. Stop! Fucked up. Okay, we're good. Alright, that's the one. Cloudpunk. <clears throat> Do not pay me any money. <laughs> I just, I just like that game. That was a cool game. That is the game, well, that game doesn't have too many choices. That is the game that you just go through, it's it's kind of like an experience. Almost like going through Blade Runner universe and, uh, yeah, that's it. Sell out? Okay, sorry! I wish I, you know, so though, I wish I was selling out, because at least that would mean I'm getting paid, therefore I can focus more on making this stuff. Ultimately, I think that's kind of a, my, my somewhat semi-regret that I didn't care too much, uh, as much about, uh, uh, monetizing, uh, before, and therefore, I just, I just didn't really, uh, make it a big thing, I suppose, this whole streaming thing. Ugh. In all truth, I wanted to try it too, uh, gotta do, so if you record it. I recorded the whole thing, so though, and, uh, yeah, and released it on the channel. It's ordered in the past. I don't know if I was, like, I was, it was a great playthrough, but it was, it was kind of like, it was, yeah, it was mine. <laughs> Never too late. We, we, we'll see about that. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for the encouraging words. What would be my plan to uh, get, becoming a famous streamer? Obviously, I would need to get my shirt off, first of all. Maybe go to the gym first. You gotta pay attention to the superficial. I mean, that's, that's most important. I don't know. I guess being a, a regular streamer would help a lot. Uh, yeah, about Baseline 3, I, I, I didn't... Uh, well... Didn't get a chance to uh, talk about it more. I'm really looking forward to Wasteland... 
uh, 3. And I had a lot of fun with uh, Wasteland 2. In that game, I made a very unique, very unique uh, roof for myself. And I hate that. I hate that in myself. This is just like a... I don't know. I don't know how you guys call it. I'm just gonna go out and say it. I kind of sometimes get like uh, laser focused on efficiency. And, uh, and I just ruin my own fun. I don't know. That's stupid. It is stupid. It is something I have to pay attention to. So when I was uh, planning to to play Wasteland 2, I was, I was already in the mindset like, how do I make the best characters? And then I realized that was stupid. So I just decided that instead of all that, I'm just gonna make characters with randomized stats. And oh my god, I had so much fun. Fuck yeah. I'm obviously, I couldn't play in the highest difficulty. I mean, those guys sucked, but they were very unique. You have to learn how uh, to create clickbait video images and titles. Like what? But seriously, pick popular games and follow a uh, schedule on YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, that's that's pretty uh, solid. But it's also gotta be a game that I like, right? Or is that optional? Oh, look at that. Hacking <laughs> games. I think that that was my original dilemma. That what kind of got me into streaming is that I, I really liked. Okay. That the idea of streaming, first of all, sounded fun to me. But uh, first of all, I was making videos, and it was fun. And I really liked Gwent. I mean, it was almost calling to me. Because in Gwent, you guys call me the biggest introvert ever, at least when uh, last time we talked about this. But uh, you guys labeled me an introvert, but I get bored playing Gwent alone. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just like, I'm oh, feeling lonely playing Gwent. And then I start streaming, it's like, yes, people showed up to watch me play this, this card game. Amazing. Perfect. Last words. I'm not alone playing this dumb game. I gotta pretend that I like the game. I think this makes it a lot lot more fun experience. Like, whether you are like, you know, even when I'm just playing the game myself, I'm just like, okay, let's just go to a stream, or I'm streaming myself, or maybe like doing something else on the side. GG, mates. We got them good. Okay. I don't want to play this game. Also, you have to have a catchphrase. Ooh, perfect. But it shouldn't be like a one-man action, right? I need sidekicks too. What should be my catchphrase? Guys, come on. Bring it on. What should be my catchphrase? I'm fully interested here. I shouldn't be the one choosing my own catchphrase. That that would be lame. If the king demands a head, I'll give him yours. I don't have any uh death fish guys. That's a little annoying. Maybe I can play the beast. A copy of the beast. Mahakam streamer here. Oh yeah, I should do some kind of an uh, semi-Irish accent. Mahakam streamer here. Uh, what's up, Duan? Today we... Oh, okay. And yeah, people actually like that. That I said I, from, I was from Mahakam. <laughs> I suppose that is a running joke on the channel. I mean, I'm actually from Mahakam, obviously. It's endearing. I think 
uh, like, uh, just conversations can be become just too matter of fact. Like, oh, just tell me the information, please. I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's go with the jokes. <gasps> yeah, let's go with the beast. Uh, do I have anything for free? Uh, that sucks. All right, let's go with the beast. We got double beast. Maybe we gotta go for the good old tempo pass. You guys know that move? Two arms. Huh. Tomorrow, uh, if there's going to be a stream tomorrow, and there, there's a very high likelihood that it will be a stream tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming some new card game. I don't know if it's uh, it's good or not, but I have a, well, I don't know. It's new. So, <laughs> maybe it's going to be my time of triumph, or I'm just interested and we've got to try it out. Great pass. Sell out. They don't, they don't pay me! Wish, please! Please, I wanna sell out! Hey, charm. Eggs. Okay. I I'm just gonna ask it, because you guys make a, a note of my, my looks all the time. Do I look better with or without hair? By the way, Adam, would you say you recommend Deck of Ashes to someone who like Monster Train and Slate Aspire? I don't think I, I don't think I'm comfortable making that choice for you. Have you seen my video? What the fuck is the opponent playing? Did he just lead her? I don't know what he's doing, but we are playing at rank one, so don't call me a big scrub. For his, uh, his actions. Sometimes the price is too dark. Rank 1 is overrated. Well, come on, this is a rank 1 guy. This is the cream of the top. The best of the best, man. You cannot just... What is your rank, Pharaoh? I wanna know about your rank. Halo Adam's better looking than Hera Dam. <laughs> You're pro rank. Okay. You think you're better than this guy? Maybe he has a trick up his sleeve. Maybe he's using his pincer maneuver for thinning. Have you thought about that? Okay. Well, it's 
very likely to be worse. Maybe I will just get rid of the Plague Maid then. I don't have enough consumes. But I could have. Okay, you're good. With the haunt, we're gonna have enough consumes. Why is this deck something I actually have to think about? <laughs> Leaders are so overrated. Yeah! Just play that uh, very boring leader that disables all the abilities. And who you address, and how you That's the them. most fun. Them draws. Okay, well, I'm a little bit concerned about him, though. Because we don't have Yordan. And he's just gonna get super fat. It's true. I lost to Skellige the other day, where my opponent used leader in round one. <laughs> oh my god, can we just give him way too many rats in the back row? It's gonna be a little awkward. That would be hilarious. Okay. Do you guys have a favorite deck right now? Maybe there's some something else right now that's just really fun to play. I don't know. <laughs> I like this dumb red a uh, red deck. Oh my god, Ildiko? Really? Will it suffice to end the old fool? So, we play a noon raid. Okay. <laughs> he can play one more card. This is why I played this deck. This makes it all worth it. Similarity is kind of fun, but so random, I guess. <laughs> I guess if you like that. I just don't like the random aspect to it, especially if you're losing against meta decks. It's like, oh no! Randomly losing! It hurts. It hurts my soul, okay? Oh fuck, we should have uh, Jotun first. Why is this allowed? What? Having fun? I, I messed up the order, but we're still gonna win.
<clears throat> Look at that. He has a lot of reds. He has nothing to uh, complain about. one sure do we play the last cards oh my god I'm gonna discard my own card too are we going to win yes double Baron how but only has Baron if we give him Baron right we can just discard the glusty warp we don't have to play glusty Discard everything means to. Yes, this is the most fun true expression of art in Gwent. We just discard our own cards, and he discards his cards, and we look at each other with all the rats on the board. This is what outplaying looks like. No, we can play that guy. He had Jordan? How do you know? This is. This is perfection. GG. We got him. <gasps> well played!